Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about something very special and this is the camera box in canvas material. Please don't mistake this as the camera box that is a trunk. This is very different. This is something that is more commercial and more practical to use compared to the first launch of the camera box which is the trunk. So this is not it and this is the picture. And I know that a lot of people are waiting for this since the fashion show. This is a fashion piece and when I say pre-order it, pre-order it. But before that, let's get into the details of this bag and why would you want this to be a part of your collection. First of all, if you're new to this channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I am a sales advisor here in Singapore. Louis Vuitton Singapore and uh, this maybe makes me more credible with my advices about a bag or about an event or about anything else and a little vlog here and there so if you are into this kind of thing into luxury world and you love Louis Vuitton please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you get updated whenever I upload a video and help me grow this channel okay camera box um, Anything that is small bag with the reversed monogram combined with a normal monogram is always, always a hot item in the eyes of every girl. And no wonder I have been uh, receiving a lot of messages in my Instagram about this bag. So first of all, you will see the rivet. Those small dots that are supposed to look like a nail on the leather because as you know, trunks has a nails on it because it's made of wood but uh, to to achieve this look they put this rivet a small dotted gold thingy on top of the flap and underneath and also below the bag you will see that corner with a metal thing so that metal corner is always there most of the time there if a bag is inspired by a trunk and this camera box is inspired by the original camera box trunk so you cannot prevent it from having it because that gives extra detail and cuteness to the bag but i know what's going on in your mind will it get scratched and the hard answer is yes because it's metal so if your concern is for it getting scratched number one solution is not to remove the plastic on it that covers it number two and is just to let it go because once you bought the bag you just have to accept this that part of it is are all the wear and tear that comes with it and especially you know the risk of having that metal thing on the corner so just get over it and move on with it once you buy once you decided to buy the item good news is that most of these parts are replaceable uh, with aftercare service however it every replacement of a part of this bag is a chargeable so uh, because it's part of the wear and tear scratches and stuff so if it's repairable we will Louis Vuitton will definitely do it but just take note that a wear and tear is not part of a free of charge repair and yeah just that's just my advice so this comes with a flap and uh, with an S lock which is the lock that you see in uh, originally with the trunk but it becomes more popular with the pochette metis so this tr this lock is easy to navigate um, but of course also uh, scratches if you do not if you're not being careful by uh, locking it back and uh, as I say metals are are easily get scratched most of the time so just take note of it the handle is a soft leather I wouldn't say it's, it's prone to scratches but yeah, it's not prone to scratch. It's, it's, it's actually, it looks very soft and shiny, but in reality, this is actually very durable leather. So don't worry about it. You can put a bandu. A bandu, you can buy a bandu. You can put it on the leather uh, handle. And uh, yeah, that's just, um, just, just one of the solution to uh, prevent it from oxidizing, especially for those who has uh, sweaty palms. Yeah, it might have a reaction to the leather. Of course, it's sweat is a thing that might damage a, a leather. So Bandu is a solution for you. Now, just to give you an idea of the size, uh, I would like to show you how it looks like on me. I'm five feet tall, 50 kg. If you can feature that, <laughs> um, this is how it looks like when I 
wear it as a chain on my shoulders. I don't like it that way. I find that it's too horizontal to carry as a short bag on your shoulders. It just looks weird in my opinion. Maybe if you're a little taller, it might work, but because I'm short, I, I do not think that this is very nice to wear in that way. But the good news is it comes with an adjustable leather strap. And this leather strap is in black, so it doesn't make the full monogram too tacky. So uh, this is how it looks like when I wear it as a crossbody bag. And this hole is, uh, I think, the third one from the top. So uh, this is not the shortest yet, but it falls just right on my hips. So it's, uh, it's perfect. Again, with my height, I think that this is a little bit bulky. I thought it would look nice when I wear it as a crossbody, but it actually didn't. I think the number one way that I find it the cutest is to carry it as a handbag. But of course, that's not the most practical, but that's just my opinion of what's the best way to carry it. Now I'd like to show you what fits inside. And I would put a Capuchin's wallet and my iPhone 12 Pro. And this is how it looks like. It is, it's just nice. It is perfect. Uh, you don't need actually anything aside from your phone and your wallet nowadays. But if you have another phone, most of, most of the people nowadays has two phones, professional phone and uh, personal phone. Yes, both can fit. iPhone Pro Max, yes, it can fit. Long wallet, no, this is a tiny bag. Long wallets are not supposed to be used for small bags. So just get an alternative wallet if you are getting into a small bags because that's the trend now. The price is 4750. It is a small bag, but as I say, this is part of the showpiece for uh, fall winter. Price 4750 is a normal price for luxury bags nowadays, so I don't have objection with that. It's just uh, how you see the value of the bag and how often you're going to use it, and I think the price is justifiable. This bag is definitely a statement piece. So if you're going to ask me if it's worth to get it, I would say yes. Um, this is going to be hot in the next few weeks, I assume. And as I'm recording this video, it is not launched yet. The official launch is uh, July 28th and I'm recording this on the 22nd of July. But uh, it's now open for pre-order. So I don't know in your country, but in Singapore, it is open for pre-order. So um, if your CA said it's open for pre-order, just go and grab it. You don't have a luxury of the luxury of time to think about a bag like this because the moment you close your eyes and open it back again after a minute, it might be not orderable anymore. And it's highly, highly possible. It happened to all the bag and uh, regret of not getting it is the worst feeling. So um, think about it. You've seen the details and you see how it looks like. And uh, if you want to visit the new store in level one of Nian City Store, it is a very beautiful store. I encourage everyone to see it. There is a, a piece in this store as of the moment as I'm recording this video. I don't know by, by the time that you watch it, it would still be there, but uh, just go ahead and try it on your own, especially if you're not sure about the size and how it will look like on you. So that is just an advice. And yeah, my personal opinion, I love this. I like statement pieces, but if you're going to ask me between this and the original trunk camera box, I like the original trunk camera box because I am a self-proclaimed trunk lover and I love the history and the savoir-faire, the workmanship of our trunk. So if I'm going for a an statement piece, I would go for the trunk camera box, but I know that the price difference is almost half. Let me just check how much is the camera box that is a trunk. It is uh, 13200 and uh, for people who like this camera trunk but in a budget, this is a perfect option for you because they're both camera box. But yeah, um, the camera box that is in trunk is not very practical. It's just an estate statement piece. I recommend this to people who are going to like socialite events. This is a head turner. So commercially, 
if you want a bag that is a head turner too this is a perfect one so yeah that's all i can say about it i hope i did do not miss anything and i will be posting some picture of maybe styling if with with the outfit once we uh we we have time because now our store in level one just opened in the city store here in singapore and uh, the crowd is a little bit crazy so i couldn't do any videos of anything at the moment so and i'm glad that i was able to take a video of this uh for now that's all and i'm very sleepy now it's 12 30 but i just want to get this video out because i want to be the first one to to uh, update you with this uh new bag and uh yeah i will see you on my next video which is the unboxing of go 14 which is a new leather bag that has been superly hot in social media so yeah i will see you on my next video and i'm very sleepy right now thank you bye bye